Good morning. This is Luke Thomas, home of the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It's 6.51 in the morning on Sunday, August 18th, 2024. 6.51, 6.51 in the morning, Sunday, August 18th, 2024. And let's take a look at our how well we've been doing. Okay, so <clears throat> this was the forecast for the August 16th to the 17th. And you can see we forecasted an earthquake to hit in the Orange County, Western uh, Riverside, down to San Diego County in our last forecast. And uh, you can see here, let's see what happened. To... There it is. This is what happened. We had a three point, actually it was posted as a 3.9 originally. And then they changed it to a 3.6. And that hit exactly in our warning area. It hit right in this area right here, in the 98% risk area. We thought it would be a little bit stronger. Uh, I think it, we had mentioned 4.0 to 4.5. and maybe stronger because this was a large area of risk here. But it happened to be uh, significant. It was felt across a wide area. Um, Look at that. That's why I think uh, sometimes they should leave it what the computer says because the computer was saying a 3.9. And I don't think a 3.6 could be felt that far away, all the way down southern San Diego, all the way up to Santa Clarita, Lancaster, Palmdale. That was different, definitely, in my opinion, at least a three point, at least a 3.9. So I wish they would just leave what the computer is saying. Um at the beginning, but they readjusted it to a 3.6. And that verified this forecast uh, for here, this area. <clears throat> We're forecasting a strong earthquake in that area. And we got a 3.9 originally, and then changed to 3.6. Um, let's just look back on how well we've been doing here. Um, back on July 29th, we had forecasted, uh, we had a strong risk right here in San Bernardino County and a 4.9 hit in that area. Then on August 6th, we had another high risk for a strong earthquake in Southern California. And we got a 5.7 and a 4.4. These were changed to a 5.2 and, and a 5.2 and a 4.4 up in the warning area here in Southern California. That was on August 6th, exactly the day that we said it would happen. And then we had another warning go out for uh, August 12th. Actually, I think it was the 10th into the 11th, and it hit on the morning, uh, on the day of the 12th, around noon, I think, there, uh, right in the Los Angeles area. Uh, that was a very strong peak. We were lucky we didn't get something bigger, but that was uh, uh, forecasted for the 10th to the 11th, and it hit on the 12th, um, about 12 hours late from our forecasted, originally forecasted for the 10th and the 11th, hit on the 12th, and that was a 4.4. And then we had a uh, significant risk here in the area right here, northwest of Las Vegas on the 13th, and you can see a 4.4 hit in that warning area. So then that was like a bullseye for, for that uh, forecast map. You can see that in our last video. Uh, we had a bullseye of 95% uh, risk there and a 4.4 hit there. And then once again, in California, we had that um, 3.9, originally a 3.6 in this warning area right here. This forecast model has been working extremely well, uh, extremely well. And we'll show you the, uh, that in, uh, in Japan as well in just a second. So now what's happening today? Today is the, the 18th, and the risk lingers in the southern portion of uh, California, all the way down to 95% uh, down in the Baja Peninsula, uh, south of Mexicali. And risk is beginning to build up here northwest of Crescent City, up there, 90% risk there offshore of Oregon. And again, down here near the Salton Sea. So we still could get some action down here today. 
in Southern California, especially across the border east and southeast of San Diego. So watch for that. Um, and then look at this. It kind of gets quiet across Southern California on the uh, 18th into the 19th. But we have a high risk here near uh, Petrolia, Eureka, Crescent City, uh, northwest of Ukiah. <clears throat> Excuse me. A actually, the risk is pretty high here in the San Francisco Bay. And I wouldn't be surprised to see today into tomorrow, the 18th and the 19th, maybe a 3.0 to 3.5 right in the San Francisco Bay <clears throat> because that risk is building in that area on the 18th to the 19th. So pretty high risk, moderately high risk across the northern portion of California on the 18th to 19th. <clears throat> and 19th to 20th, pretty quiet, except for this 85% risk in northeast Nevada. And still some high risk off northwest California on the 19th to 20th. And then the 20th to the 21st of August, pretty high risk there near Crescent City, southwest uh, Oregon, northwest of Eureka, pretty high risk there. Then on the 21st to the 22nd, very significant risk there. Well, let's see here. Yeah. Up northwest of Eureka on the 21st and the 22nd. And also down here in the Baja Peninsula, 90% risk there and 90% risk off the northwest coast. But otherwise, across most of California, pretty quiet. So we've been having all this action. We're having a little bit of a uh, little bit of reprieve and a little bit of quietness. So uh, once again, this forecast model, 20 years of research, long, long time. Many years of research on this forecast model is extremely accurate. And uh, just pay attention, watch quakeprediction.com, and we'll let you know if any significant quake is going to happen in your area. And this forecast model is able to pinpoint it very accurate. And you'll see this in a second in Japan. Look at this. 88% risk there in the Sendai area. And if you go to our uh, Twitter, x.com page for Japan, we had a forecast warning for Sendai and that hit, we had a 4.8, I believe, in that area. Let's set, check it real quick here. In Japan. Yes, look at that. 4.8 earthquake hit exactly in that warning area, exactly where we said it was going to hit. Just look at that. Northeast of Sendai, northeast of Sendai, right there in the 88% risk. This forecast model is extremely accurate. I'm I'm just, uh, you know, after 20 years of research, you think you'd figure something out, right? So there you go. It's working very well. Now the risk for the 18th and the 19th in Japan is pretty quiet. Moderately high risk near northwest of Tokyo. And way offshore there, but this is the most significant area. That could get a 3.0 to 4.0 is possible in that area near Tokyo on the 18th to the 19th. And then that area builds a little more there on the 19th into the 20th near Tokyo. 4.0 is possible in that area. And then we change the colors on the map here a little bit. But you can see very high risk down near Kumamoto Miyazaki in the far south. 90% uh, risk down there. We get a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in that area. And then maybe a 5.0 to 6.0 is possible on the 20th, 21st, southeast of Tokyo. And then on, this is kind of scary on this map, we could get a 6.0 or larger earthquake near Tokyo, Chiba, uh, Shizuoka area, southeast of Tokyo, on the 21st of August into the 22nd. So if you're living in Tokyo uh, or east central uh, Japan, Please uh, warn your friends and family that are living there to be prepared for a strong earthquake on the 21st and the 22nd in Japan. This could be could be even a 7.0 quake, but at least a 6.0 earthquake is likely near Tokyo, southeast of Tokyo, on the 21st or the 22nd of August. Please warn your friends and family in that area. 
We'll update you as things go along here. Alaska, look at this, 95% risk in Southeast Alaska. And let's check that area real quick. And you can see um, what happened in Southeast Alaska. We got a, here it is right here, 3.7. You can see it right there. 3.7 earthquake, very significant earthquake hit right in this warning area here, the 95% risk area here on the 16th to the 17th of August. It's working really well in um, Alaska as well. 85% risk from the 17th to the 18th near Anchorage. The 18th to the 19th, mostly up in Northwest Alaska and way in the Southwest. And then on the 19th to the 20th, very high risk down in the southwestern portion portion of the Aleutian Islands. And up in north central Alaska, 90% risk there. And then very significant risk area here on the 20th to the 21st. We could get a 4.0 to 4.5 anywhere in that area west of Anchorage, all the way up to uh, northern Alaska. Very significant risk area there. And now on the 21st to the 22nd, we have a new new color scheme. Actually, this has more data than this map. This one has a lot more data and should be a lot more accurate for Alaska. And you have a significant uh, 4.5 or larger earthquake is likely in the Anchorage area on the 21st to the 22nd of August. Pretty significant area there right in Anchorage. So uh, watch for... a significant 4.5 or larger earthquake in the Anchorage area on August 21st to August 22nd. And once again, again, California. Um, let's take a look at that real quick. Um, we had a high risk in this area. We got a 3.9, downgraded to a 3.6 in this warning area. Exactly as forecasted. Now the risk is shifting off uh, east and southeast of San Diego and northwest California. And then on the 18th to 19th, uh, pretty high risk up in northwest California. And San Francisco Bay has a moderately high risk there. So things get kind of quiet on the 19th and the 20th. And then by the 21st into the 22nd, risk begins to build up in the northwest portion of California. This forecast model is extremely accurate. And uh, if you want to know if there's going to be an earthquake in your area, stay tuned to quakeprediction.com. 20 years of earthquake research and 280,000 followers around the world. And that number keeps increasing every day. And before you know it, there'll be two, three, four, five million people watching quakeprediction.com. And eventually, in the next uh, couple of years, we will have a... Uh, uh, like like the Weather Channel, this will be like the Earthquake Channel, and it'll be uh, we'll have documentaries, we'll have live people uh, on the scene for earthquakes around the world. It, it'll expand very quickly now, so stay tuned here to QuakePrediction.com. And again, this is Luke Tom Swamquist, QuakePrediction.com here with the earthquake forecast around the world, and. Uh, if you have some friends and family living in Japan, big quake coming there. I think we said it was the 21st or 22nd. Check the maps at quakeprediction.com and be prepared in Tokyo area for a big, strong earthquake in that area. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks for following quakeprediction.com.